Hello, hello, hello guys! Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. So this is Paolo Bridge, your Pinoy nurse here in Singapore. So for my today's content, guys, yes, I'm going to share a good news, guys. Good news to all of you. So before that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. So yes, who will benefit this good news? Of course, those foreign nurses. So foreign nurses who are coming here in Singapore, those newly, newly foreign nurses coming here in Singapore, Ministry of Health announced that they will provide housing for you guys. I mean, it's not money, but bef I mean, once you arrive here in Singapore, you already have a, I mean, you don't need to think where you need to live because they will provide a hostel type housing for you guys. So yes, they announced recently, it's in the news, in, it's in the net, internet. Actually, you can search it uh, via Strict Times. It's announced last August 8, 2023. That they will provide a hostel type lodging for new nurses here in Singapore. Guys, you're all very lucky because at least now, you don't need to think where, you don't need to find where you need to, I mean, of course, for before, right, you, we need to find like uh, our accommodation. But now, since uh, Ministry of Health announced this, it will be quite uh, easy already on your side. So you don't need to think of uh, where you will get your money for accommodation and everything. So this hostel type lodging, as I understand when I've read the news, it's like uh, a community hostel type. Like you will, the room you will share with other person. So total person will be two of you inside the room. But I mean, it will be shared toilet, shared dining room, shared, uh, let's say shared laundry. So it's like a hostel type lodging. I mean, it's a hostel type lodging. Sorry, sorry to say. So the reason for this hostel type lodging project by Ministry of Health is like for you to adapt like so you can adapt like you uh they're helping you to adapt first and once you're okay already then you can find your uh, own accommodation already once like uh, you settle already in singapore but i'm not sure how many months it will be free but i think so maybe maximum three months i guess then after that you need to find your uh accommodation ready well by the way guys I, I i'm not really sure how many months you can stay in that lodging but still, it's still a good news, right? Because somehow, uh, like what I said earlier, you don't need to think first about where you need to stay. So after that, once you already settle, then you can already find in the market uh, if you want to move already and you want to rent flat, I mean, rent a uh, flat, flat that you will share with other person. So like what I said, guys, for us, they provide uh, housing allowance. Use How much is our housing allowance now? Our housing allowance now is 500 Singapore dollar. So to tell you guys, uh, now it is very expensive, the rental here in Singapore. So having said that, having this kind of project for new for foreign nurses, it is very helpful. Remember, it is, I mean, it is very helpful. So like what I read in the news, there will be a 4,000 new nurses coming here in Singapore. I mean, 4,000 new nurses end of year, 60% of it is foreigners. So you see, quite a lot. Actually, they really need a lot of nurses nowadays here in Singapore because the population is becoming like elderly population. So yeah, they need nurses here. And what else? By the way, the site is once during, I mean, when I read the article, there will be a five site for this hostel type lodging. So it can, it can accommodate 200 to 600 uh, foreign, foreign nurses. I think it will prioritize foreign nurses and I mean healthcare workers. And it will start end of 2023 till 2nd of 2024. So what is my uh, comment about this project? Yes, this project is very good. This is very helpful. And I think it's good. It's a good start from Singapore government that they think of this. Because really the rental now is very expensive. But uh, hopefully this hostel type large, I mean, we still still ascertain how many months they can stay in that uh, free accommodation. I mean, a free accommodation for this hostel type. By the way, as I understand, it's free accommodation. So comment down below uh, if my my if you think the information that I gave is wrong. But as I understand in that article, it's free accommodation for the meantime, for the meantime. So the question mark is until when you can stay there for that hostel type accommodation, lah, which is provided by Ministry of Health. So yeah, uh, thing other than that, that's for now. Sorry that I'm quite busy, so I cannot upload much and i'll try my best again to upload new content and i'll share to all of you new new updates here in singapore singapore or singapore nurses okay bye bye thank you again for supporting my channel